Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's an afternoon with the authors here at Hollywood Heritage, and we're here with Barbara Hall and Rocky Lang, and their book is called Letters from Hollywood. It is a unique, comprehensive look, and I want to hear all about it. Well, I'm going to let Rocky start because it, the idea for the book was his. It started quite innocently with a letter that came from the Academy. And I opened this letter up, and it said, Dear Rocky, you won't remember me, but I was the assistant librarian at the American Film Institute when you were a fellow there in 1980, and now I'm the acquisitions archivist at the Margaret Herrick Library. And I found something that might be of interest to you. And I opened that letter up, and behind that letter was a letter my father had written in the late 1930s when he'd come to Los Angeles from New York looking for a job in the motion picture industry. And that letter was to the famous agent H.N. Swanson, and my dad was looking for this job, and we never found out if he got the job or not. That idea was the kernel that sparked the idea for this book. And like all great ideas, uh, when you start to think about how to execute that, you realize there's a lot more than just the idea. And that's where Barbara came in, because I knew I needed somebody who really knew the world. And Barbara is an amazing historian and an archivist. And she was the one who sort of led me along the way to uh, helping find these incredible letters. So much, much, much credit goes to Barbara. And your research, tell us a little bit of what went on to find not dozens, not hundreds, but literally thousands of letters. Well, um, I had worked at the Academy's uh, Margaret Herrick Library, which is, you know, one of the preeminent libraries for film research in the world. And I had worked there for many years, so I had some ideas already of some letters that I had seen in my work there that I thought would be great for the book. But then we had to do even more research to find to find even more material. And, you know, we were, we were looking for things um, about a range of topics, so we just sort of had to go through a lot of files, a lot of collections, and just look for interesting things that we thought sort of shed some light on what it was like to work and live during the days of the classic Hollywood studio system. Any favorite letters? Uh, well, one of my favorites is a letter about the best years of our lives written by the writer Robert Sherwood. He um, is writing to um, Samuel Goldwyn, uh, saying that it's the war is over, and you know he's been hired to write this amazing uh, script for this film about soldiers coming home after the war, and he says that he um, he doesn't think that there's going to be a problem for soldiers adjusting, and that the and that if they write that film, make that movie. By the time they get it made, it's going to be dated and no one's going to care anymore <laughs> about what, uh, what happened to the soldiers that came home. Luckily, Samuel Goldwyn and William Wyler, the director, were able to convince him that it was a relevant story. And, you know, especially Wyler had been through the war and come home and was going through a lot of these same adjustments. So it's, it's one of those letters that is sort of a what if letter, like what if Robert Sherwood had decided not to write that script or had convinced them not to do that? We might not have that movie. And it's obviously one of the best movies of the decade, if not the entire Hollywood, uh, Hollywood's golden age. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but I also like some of the personal letters that we have. Um, you know, there's a great letter from uh, Betty Davis to Jack Warner, where she's um, insisting on her rights and <laughs> wants, to, wants to improve her working conditions, which is something we can all relate to <laughs> uh, even today. And um, lots of other things from actresses and then personal letters as well. So it's, we tried to get a combination of things that were more about the personal life and uh, of people working in Hollywood as well as their professional careers. And speaking of that professional collaboration, tell us a little bit about what it's like to work together on a book. Well, it was, it was really amazing. I mean, uh, you know, you know, Manny, you and I have known each other a long time. Uh, I'm mainly a film producer and, and director and writer, and so collaboration has always been important. No movie is ever made with one person. The credit a film by is sort of a, a silly credit because nobody makes a film by themselves. And with this book, the collaboration of Barbara was incredible. I mean, I, there's no way that this book would have ever come together without her expertise. And uh, and she was really a guide to me in so many ways, and I, it opened me up 
my eyes up to a whole different side of the movie business because as a filmmaker, we see it a certain way. And then you realize there are these amazing archivists and librarians and researchers who really know a side of Hollywood that most people never know and I, I never knew. And so, uh, you know, Barbara was an amazing partner on this project uh, and we've remained incredible friends after it. It was terrific. Yeah. All right, Rocky, what's with the number on the hat? <laughs> okay. Funny you should ask that. <laughs> uh, this is the ISBN number of the book, and I did it as sort of a joke with my agent. And I, I had this hat made, and I said, you know, people are going to uh, ask me what this, what this number is. And my, my wife said, you're an idiot. Nobody is going to ask you what that hat is. And we're in the store together, and about five people said, excuse me, what is that number on your hat? <laughs> Funny you should ask me. It's the ISBN for Letters from Hollywood. And then I would pull out a card, and here's a card over where I can get the book. You know, as a producer, always a salesman. <laughs> Well, I don't think your wife thinks that you're an idiot now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. She's pretty upset with me about the count kitchen counter this morning. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a story for another day. In the meantime, thank you, Barbara Hall, Rocky Lang. I'm Manny Pacheco, spending an afternoon with the authors with Celebrating Act Two. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.